Hi students the topic is conformation of proteins before going to the topic please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for notifications like share among your friends and comment proteins are synthesized in the cell by the process of translation and ribosomes are considered as protein factory of the cell proteins are made up of amino acids that is why proteins are otherwise called polypeptides the meaning amino acids undergo linkage the linkage is called conh linkage called as peptide linkage so many amino acid join with peptide linkage and form a polypeptide or protein let we can see the conformation of proteins in detail from the following slides dear students you know proteins are the macromolecules composed of one or more polypeptide chains each of which is a mixed polymer of l amino acid residues joined end to end by peptide bonds levels of protein structure can be described in terms of four levels primary secondary tertiary and quaternary recent studies reveal two additional level of protein organization that is super secondary structures or motifs and domains that we can discuss later the first one is primary structure primary structure of a protein means the sequences amino acid residues of its polypeptide chains which read in n terminus to c terminus direction it is the first level of organization of protein determined by the codons of mrna or cistron of dna the primary structure is stabilized by the peptide bond as well as disulfide bond between cysteine residues if there are any frederick sanger in 1953 first determined the primary structure of bovine insulin now the primary structure of a polypeptide is determined by an automated device called spinning cup sequenator developed by per edman and geoffrey beg the diagram shows primary structure of amino acid sequence here is the secondary structure protein secondary structure refers to the spatial arrangement of backbone atoms of polypeptides without considering the conformations of side chains The common types of secondary structure are alpha helix and beta pleated sheet. The type of secondary structure of a polypeptide depends upon its amino acid composition. The alpha helix formation is favored by alanine, leucine, glutamate and methionine residues whereas beta sheet is favored by valine, isoleucine and tyrosine residues. In the secondary structure, the first is alpha helix. The backbone atoms of a polypeptide chain tightly coil in a right-handed manner to form many rod-like structures at intervals called alpha helices. For example, myoglobin contains 8 helices. Second one is beta pleated sheet. About 2 to 15 polypeptide chains come together to form a beta pleated sheet. The beta pleated sheet is stabilized by hydrogen bonds between CO and NH groups in different polypeptide chains. Beta pleated sheet is of two types parallel beta sheet adjacent chains run in the same direction example beta keratin anti parallel beta sheet adjacent chains on in opposite direction example silk fibroin the third one is tertiary structures protein tertiary structure refers to the 3d structure of an entire polypeptide showing the folding of secondary and super secondary structures to form a compact globular structure In case of a large polypeptide that consists of more than 200 residues form two or more globular unit called domains the tertiary structure is stabilized by hydrogen bonds ionic bonds hydrophobic interactions van der waals force and london dispersion forces and disulfide bonds if present the diagram shows the tertiary structure it is the fourth level of structural organization exhibited only in oligomeric proteins A protein's quaternary structure refers to the spatial arrangement of its polypeptide subunits or protomers. In a quaternary structure, the subunit may or may not be identical and stabilized by non-covalent bond. Example: hemoglobin, which consists of two alpha chains and two beta chains. This denaturation of protein. 
Any partial unfolding or change in 3D shape that brings a native state of a protein into random coil is called denaturation. But the separation of subunits in a quaternary structure is called dissociation. Proteins are denatured by variety of conditions such as high temperature, variation in pH and ionic concentration, addition of detergents, etc. When the normal condition is established, smaller denatured proteins refold spontaneously into its native conformation. This is called renaturation, but a larger protein can rarely renaturate to its native state. Dear students, I hope you could understand what are the Conformation level of protein like primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary level and denaturation of proteins. Thank you for watching. See you in next class with another topic. Don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel.